to walk into it and look. Phrase up. What word best sums up your feelings towards Fabio Wardley? What word best sums up your feelings towards Fraser Clark? At this moment in time, just my enemy. I'm bothered. Do you want to know what his answer was? <laughs> Everything he's got, he needs to put into this night, otherwise he has no chance. He will be flat on his back and my hand will be raised. When I win this fight, it shuts a lot of people up. It's always just business. The objective is to destroy you. What happens when the bear gets poked? The bear bites the s*** out of you. <laughs> <laughs> the only bear he's probably close to is Winnie the Pooh. I'm not going to bed dreaming about Fraser Clark. The bear getting smashed! In this game, you definitely need to have thick skin. I don't necessarily think he's built for that. Let's be having you! What the hell? You're not believing bad luck, brethren. You must be mad. Easy, 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 at the same time, I listened to good advice from good people. The excuse of, oh, woe is me, it wasn't me, and the powers that be told me I can't do it, and rah, rah, it's, it's I, I'm not, I'm not here to entertain any of that kind of fussing. You know, we can have the back and forth all the time about, yeah, but you're in control of your own career and this and that. Once again, like I said, probably a little bit naive. I know, ultimately, if you really wanted to, you could have pulled that off and you could have done it. So, all it says to me is that you didn't want it. The point right now is March 31st, you know, me and Fabio get to collide in the ring. We are just going to start the press conference now, so if you are doing any interviews at the moment, uh, if you could wrap them up, I'm sure that you're going to want to focus your attention on the top table here. Now, in April of last year, the British Boxing Board of Control ordered these two to fight. It didn't happen. A purse bid brought British boxing to an absolute standstill. Pandemonium ensued. Other routes were chosen, knowing that one day, or hoping, that these two could meet again. Well, that day has now arrived. Now we have that fight. On Sunday the 31st, so that's Bank Holiday Sunday, Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark will headline at the O2 Arena for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles live on Sky Sports. Set it up for us. Just why are you so confident that you retain those two belts? It's too soon for him. He's not ready for me. The pro games, I know people make them very obvious comparisons between amateur and pro, and that's going to be the, ob the obvious narrative all the way through this. But I just think I'm too much for him. He's a good fighter, but he's a good talker as well. And he's got the T-shirt on today. Uh, your reaction to... Oh, what's that? I'm not even seeing it yet. It's done, no. <laughs> that's it. There's your toe. Who's your daddy? Oh yeah, Vanta, you know, um, the, one, the one thing that Fabio possibly can beat me at is um, the internet uh, beef, you know. Listen, it's all about what happens on the 31st, you know, all, all these shenanigans. When you've been around as long as me, whether that's in a boxing ring or sitting on the side of the ring, you see it all and uh, you become accustomed to it. I respect you as a man, as a fighter and your accomplishments, but it changes nothing for me, ultimately, over the next eight, nine weeks, you're my enemy. I'm planning to take your head off and go home with my belts. The next eight, nine weeks is very personal. Um, Fabio is all I think about, you know, every time I go into a training session, you know, it's all focused to beat him. May the best man win. I hope, you're, hope you can back all that up on the night, like you have so far. Bad luck. Don't want to be doing that. I mean, I believe in bad luck, brethren. Mm -mm, they look good, man. You like them? You look after them well, innit? I polish them daily. I like that better. <laughs> Thank you.
it's always just business. For the next eight, nine weeks, you're my enemy, and the objective is to destroy you, is to knock you out, is to win and keep progressing with my career. So, look, he's on my mind a certain amount because I have to plan correctly and analyse and look at him, but I'm not, I'm not going to bed dreaming about Fraser Clark. Do that faint again. Even less, even less, shorter. And then jab after that. Bop, 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 yeah. Turn that last jab into a free two. I love the fact when people talk about Fabio's white collar. I absolutely love it. He's beat kids along the way that have had all this amateur pedigree. And they think that because where he come from means that, you know, automatically they're a better fighter. But, you know, he's, he's knocking these guys out. And um, he's a hard worker, Fabio, very professional. He invests in himself. And uh, there's not a single heavyweight that will have an easy night with him. <laughs> One thing that I've got is an unbelievable desire to win a fight. I believe that on my day, I out-fight, out-box anyone who you put in front of me. Boom, boom. You control him straight away, and then you're going to finish chop and left down sets because it's going to dip here, yeah? So slowly, punch with him, control him straight away, don't bring the hand back. So as soon as you boom, boom in here with him, and then boom, boom again, yeah? Have a bit more flow, shoulder back, chin down, that's it, go. That's it, here we go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Sometimes you move away, Sometimes you, you stay there. Don't give him the same pattern. He's ABC, bro. You know what he's going to do. Yeah? I don't, I don't see him doing anything else. So it's your thing to force him to do something else. Yeah? And these are his strengths. Yeah? If you take the strengths away from him, his strengths will become a weakness. Is that, and that's what you're trying to show the back. Free to go. Help! 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 You see, this fight is not a physical one. Five is not really physical. No. It's, it's more of like, Boxing so you have to be fit for this fight, man. So just like, be, be slim like that, it's, it's good, man. You see, his, his strengths are his fitness, his speed, bro. Mm -hmm. he, and, and, and output. Mm -hmm. So it has to be slim, bro. It's like, like a, like a noose, you know what I mean? He cannot, he cannot push muscle mass. If he push muscle mass, his boxing is finished. We put him in, in certain situations, uh, try to get into his head, winding him up, uh, tell him to do things. I might go and say, uh, you do six rounds, then I come and just, you got 10 rounds. So just to see how he responded. So based on his respon on response to me, then I go back with the feedback and I say, listen, this is what I've been trying to do to you and you fell here. So make sure the next time it's not happening. Very, very quickly. He needs a round in his experience. I thought Paulson was going to be a little bit uh, trickier as well. He gave him a... Oh, there he nice is. To meet you. How Finally. Are you How are you, bud? You okay? No, well done. Thanks for taking the fight. Nah, good, mate. It's good. It's going to be a good night. Good event. It's not for you. Your, your guy's going to lose, but. Gentlemen, <laughs> please. Fraser Clark and the defending champion. Fabio Woodley! Wait. Oh, 
way too soon for you. Why? You think you got experience? Yeah, I know, mate. Looking out I've nobody. Been in this game well. Nobody. How long you been in this I game? I fought nobody. Yeah. Who have you fought? Nobody. Yeah. No one. You're my first no test, one. big boy. No one. You're gonna see, bro. And I'm the You're one, mate. See. I'm the one. The one for what? I'm the, the champ. I'm the one. I'm the one that You'll wins. Enjoy it. It looks I'm good. I'm the one that comes to once up always. Avenue. Less than four weeks to go now until Fabio's British title fight against Fraser Clark. He's here tonight, isn't he? How are the two of you getting on? He's, he's around here somewhere. He's around here somewhere. But um, yeah, we haven't crossed paths as of yet. But I think um, I think he knows to behave down here at least. <laughs> joking and saying around how like, I haven't been dropped in sparring and how I'm never going to be um, and just messing around and he was like okay cool bet and I was like okay what's the bet then and he was like if you get dropped before you win a title um, you have to get my name tattooed on you and I was like okay fair enough I'll take that no worries I said but count not if I win the title then you've got to get the title um, the title tattooed on your arm or, or on you in general um, if I do that and, and don't get dropped in the meantime. You were sparring top sparring partners at the time though, can I <laughs> add that in? So the odds are in my favour. Yeah, I was, spar I was sparring like, the, I think I'd went away to Usyk at that point as well. I think I'd done some rounds with Fury and things like that. So yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, he was probably confident with that thinking I was probably going to get, get stung somewhere along the line. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then like, I think my, so my first title fight was um, fight camp. So through the pandemic and however, and then like again, building up to days before and stuff. And I'm like, we're here, like it's, this is, don't forget what you said. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously won the fight, won the title. And I think that when we got, literally got back to the changing room, I think that was the first thing I said to him. I was like, well, you know what you got to do tomorrow then? <laughs> I thought he forgot it. So we're sitting there <laughs> celebrating our first title. And I was like, it's... and I turned around to everyone and went, he's forgot. And he just jumped out. You gotta get this tattoo. Huh? <laughs> so you might as well show us now. So oh, you go. I let you do. Well, it. I'm gonna unveil it. Yeah, yeah it's your name on there. So well, now we've there's been an extension to this. So this one's this is the first title I won. <laughs> By the way, I thought Andy is gonna be small. Yeah, he made the choice the biggest uh, it could be. So this is the this is Fabio Wardley, English heavyweight champion, first of August 2020. And then along the line, we've acquired. You're lucky. I'm, Technically, I've got four belts at the moment, so you should have a, a full-on sleeve going on here. I've but got little ones. <laughs> I'm not gonna get, I can't get all these belts on there. And then, obviously, um, at the back end of 2022, British heavyweight champion, 26th of November, 2022. You got that for life, mate? I know. Tell me that. <laughs> uh. 
If I sound funny on these videos, by the way, or, um, or when I'm doing this, it's because obviously I've got a little cut in the mouth from sparring. It's making me sound a bit like Chris Eubank. So sometimes I come to the house and I think no one's in. But it's not no one's in. No he, lo he locks up the house and <laughs> comes down here. You get out of the way. Yeah. Especially you know, when all the grandkids come. This man's my hero, mate. My All the boxers in the world, Hagler, Lennox, our league, Tyson, all them people that I love and... For me, this is this is this is the king man, the superhero. What about in the um, World Series of Boxing? The World Series of Boxing. Look at your highlight there. You're just knocking people out right, left, and centre. Mm. You know. Mm -hmm. So. You know, it's the same thing you know what I mean. But um, I think it's fifty-fifty myself. Mm. Yes, yeah, a good fight. A good fight. I think it's fifty-fifty. That's what I think. Um, I think your boxing skill is better than his. Um. I think you're the boxer, he's the fighter. That's what I think. Yeah. You know. I agree to an extent, but uh, obviously yeah. I back myself in, in any situation. We get into yeah. if we get into a fight. Well, you gotta back yourself. No, no one see me. No one see me have a fight yet, have they? Yeah. I've not had to have a fight yet. Mm. You got every trophy you could want in here, but is there room for a Lonsdale belt? Is there room for a British heavyweight title somewhere in the man cave? I make room. I make room. I make room, mate. This was Fabs. When was it? It was his second or third fight. Number four fight. But this, was like this guy was out, sparring right? all the pros around there. And he was tipped to be pro, this guy. Yeah. His coach afterwards went on uh, Warrior website looking for Fab because he didn't believe Fab had no amateur experience. They thought he was a, a ruse. <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, this guy had a He's really... a funny to watch. <laughs> it makes me cringe a bit, to be honest. Right. Still confident, Because it's though. so, Still like... It's, it's so, the way I move is so awkward. I'm so gangly. Swagger walking off still. At this point, I'm looking at him going, Don't get back up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare get back I'm up. I'm tired now. Don't yeah. Up. I'm tired now. How's that make you feel? Similar to that. Weird. Huh? It's I'm, weird, I'm isn't proud it? proud a little bit. I guess, yeah. This is, this is Fraser, this is, with his lovely smile, we're so proud of him, we are. How proud of him were you when he won that Olympic medal? Oh, brilliant. And we sit watching him on the telly here, mm -hmm. and he yeah. comes out and we say, come on Fraser, when he boxes our shot, go on Fraser. <laughs> I think, if I remember rightly, I think that might have been Neville Brand, the British title. So That's that me moment. doing security at a show a few years back. I just couldn't wait to get my hands on that British title, you know. So it was just like, it's a bit full circle. You know, like, I don't really get too excited about anything, but you know this moment, actually, the 31st, there's a lot, a lot's gone into it, you know, from, from then. I mean, I know I don't look much younger on there, but it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, man, and to, to have that for real, that'll be, you know, it's going to be big. <laughs> to be fair, you, you know, to find Fabio, another Fabio would be great as well, yeah? And he's an inspiration. Like, this is why people come to this gym, they see him training there, and he's always with the guys, giving them advice. <laughs> Don't, don't rush, rush though, don't 
Uh, that's what you got to make, miss, boom, boom. When you're on the ropes, you've got your guard up like this, but you're square on. Do you want to go more side on or hands up, yeah? yeah. How do you feel? Matt. Yeah. Breathe. Come on. You need to spit. Should you breathe? Yeah. How do you feel? You'll tell you, will you? Yeah, I'm going yeah. over that. Yeah, sorry, it's good. Just one more, one more. Switch on afterwards. Uh, yeah. After you go in, after you have a little interaction, and just bounce off. Because he comes at you yeah. again, and then that's when you get yeah. pushed back, and then he'll go again and then again, and then you get yourself stuck. So after you have a little something, even if you just look the part, even if you bomb, just look like you're about to do something. I'm going to go, I'm not. Okay. But for like two or three Breathe. seconds after, just look the part. Otherwise, we'll just jump on you again and again. You know what he means, mate? So you do something well, then you move off and like, yeah, yeah, you've got to yeah, you you show off. him something. Because he's got long arms, he like, pings you and your yeah. head goes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're fucking bouncing show back. Show him something in between the twitch, yeah, or something, mate. Like. Huh? From there, switch Ready. on a little bit. Nice and comfortable, nice and comfortable. Oops. Make him miss there, boom, boom. On the night, it's going to be unsettling for him to be in that ring and look at me and realise I'm actually in a serious fight here, and this is going to be it's going to be a dark place for him. How am I going to enjoy landing the jab on his nose and, and cracking him in the head with the right hand, you know, and landing the body shots? I'm going to love every single shot that I land, especially the one, you know, the big right hand that smacks him in the mouth, and uh, it's just a bit of a short. He's a good boxer. He's well drilled, well scored. Well, I understand all of those things. I'm not blind or ignorant to them. I just know that I'm better. This is like knock him out, jump up on the turnbuckle, open your arms out to people and say, look, I told you, I'm here, and I've done what I've said I was going to do.